Today I'm going to bring you a tool that you can use to create a stop motion video from either your videos or in fact a link to your video and that needs to be online using a tool which again is online at catwin.com. My name is Krishna Day, you'll find me online at krishna.me and here in this example I'm showing you the latest update from Catwin. Catwin needs to be used on your Chrome browser and the feature we've got here is creating a stop motion video. You actually can change the speed, it's very simple to do so, so I've got mine here set for medium, I could actually change it to being a very fast stop motion, so it depends what you're looking to, to share here, or I can go to a very slow stop motion. In my case, this is a video that I published on YouTube and it's in landscape. Um, obviously you can actually try with square videos, so it depends what you're going to do with the content. I'm going to leave it at medium. Underneath it, you can see I've chosen a clip rate of six seconds. And if I want to actually have content actually clipped um, in terms of every 1.5 seconds, so it's like longer time between each clip to go into the stop motion video, I can go up to 1.5 seconds here. Alternatively, I can go down to 0.2 seconds. It's going to be pretty close to the original video. Let me stick with that six seconds. The other thing to note, though, is up on the right, I actually can trim the video. So if I click here to trim the video, what you'll see is if I want to um, I'm just pause that for a moment in terms of the, the audio that's on there. If I want to trim the video, then it just gives me the opportunity to change the start and end time. So I could just easily bring that in, in terms of if there was a piece that I actually didn't want to, to show on that. I'm actually going to leave it in terms of the full length of the video for the moment. And, uh, and then I just click on done trimming and I'm all done. Now all I need to do is click on creating the video. What you can see here is it's now starting to process my video. So let's just pause for a few moments. My video is now ready, which you can see here. What will happen is initially you'll get a video there which is watermarked if you don't have a paid account. And you can delete the watermark off at a price per video. Or alternatively, what you can do is pay for a monthly subscription. If you don't want to have the Kaplan.com watermark on your video. And now when it's processed, I can download the video or I can open a link to the video and then I can share it. So I think it's a great way to get more visibility for your content. Perhaps what you want to do in this case is just take a longer piece of content, create a stop motion video and then use it as a way to promote your original video. Perhaps you can post this onto one of your social networks. Um, it might be something that you kind of link to in your email to give people a taste of what they might enjoy seeing in terms of in the full length video, or of course, in the replay of a live stream that you've done. I hope you find this an assistance and let me know if you decide to use Capwin. If you've got questions about digital communications, social media or live streaming, head on over to krishna.me. That's my website where you'll find lots of tutorials and tips to help you in terms of your communications. You'll also see on the bottom right of the website a little chat box area and you can put in your questions there and we can arrange to have a one-to-one -one meeting to cover your questions.